Today, I am showing you how you can reframe all of your videos for all of your social media in only a matter of seconds using the auto reframe feature. Hey everyone, my name is Lila, so lovely to meet you. I'm a filmmaker and I share all my best filmmaking tips and tricks as well as video editing tutorials in Premiere Pro over on my channel. But today I am on this channel because I had the chance to partner up with Adobe and talk about this super popular, super cool effect that they just released. This effect has been so popular on the internet for the last few months because they've been teasing us with this effect for the last few months. And the reason why it is so popular is because we are on all the social media platforms, but we are not sharing our creations on all the social media platforms because in order to do that, for example, if you want to share your video in an Instagram story, you would have to reframe and reposition your video manually. And that is why a lot of us are missing out on this opportunity. Adobe knows and Adobe understands because they've been working on their artificial intelligence or machine learning program called Adobe Sensei for over a decade. This technology is super smart because now, instead of having to manually reframe for every aspect ratio, you can just use this effect called the auto reframe effect and put it on your clip and it will automatically reframe your video. I'm going to show you two ways to use the auto reframe effect. And the first effect is when you've already created a sequence with the desired aspect ratio. So in this case, I'm going to use nine by 16. If I put my 16 by nine video on the timeline, so my horizontal video, if I put that on a timeline, you see that a big part is cut off. Now, here's where it gets interesting, because what I used to do was manually reframe the video frame by frame to make sure that I was in frame the entire time. But those days are over and now we can do it in a few seconds. All we have to do is go to the effects panel, type in auto reframe, select the effect and drag it to your clip. Go to the effects control panel and right here, click analyze. Don't worry if it is not perfect because right here, there's the motion preset. And here you can tell Premiere Pro whether it is a slower motion or a faster motion. So for example, if you have filmed a basketball game and there are very fast motions, just select faster motion so Premiere Pro can analyze accordingly. Isn't that amazing? It is a time saver, which kind of means a lifesaver. And I can finally start making Instagram stories within seconds. Now, if you already have your video edited and ready to go, and you want to turn that into an Instagram story, you can do that within the same few seconds that I just showed you. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go to the project panel and we're going to right click on the sequence. Right here, you will see auto reframe sequence. And if you click on that, a new window will pop up where you can change the sequence name and you can change the aspect ratio. And if you click on the drop down menu, you will see that there is the square, the vertical one that is also good for your Instagram feed. There is a vertical one for your Instagram stories and a horizontal one. But there is also the option to customize the aspect ratio to however you want it to be. So again, you're not limited to only these few aspect ratios. Now right here, there's the motion preset that we just talked about. So if it is a fast clip with fast motion, I would recommend you to choose the motion preset faster motion. I'm going to choose default for now. And right here, you can choose whether you want to nest the clips or not. Then just give Premiere Pro a few seconds for it to do its magic and you will not be disappointed. So now you can start sharing your videos on every social media platform you want. I hope you're just as excited as we are about this new feature and thank you so much for watching.